everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. I hope that everybody's having a great day. I am out moving around, had to get the kitties off, uh, get some things done, make a couple of stops. Uh, and I was sitting there thinking about what I was gonna talk about if I had time once I got back to the office. And I decided, hey, uh, might as well do it here. Normally I do all of my community impromptu videos while I'm riding, but I wanted to talk to you about the importance of the individual responsibility to up your game and to face things. And I want to be somewhat transparent in the process because you can find uh, YouTube videos and, and, and ads all up and down Facebook and Instagram from people who are showing you their successes and in some cases um, pseudo successes for the sake of getting you to do something they want you to do. And I'm all for uh, monetizing uh, your ability to help others as long as you're bringing uh, equal or greater value to the table. Uh, I believe that if somebody is blessing you for something that is actually more valuable than they're asking you for in price, I think it's worth paying for if you want it bad enough. Uh, I believe in investing in yourself. So I'm not talking about anybody because they're making money. Hey, do what you got to do. Leverage the resources that you have at your disposal. I think the internet and social media has presented an unbelievable and unparalleled um, opportunity for people who are gifted and skilled in certain areas to share that gift with people, um, it, you know, in, in ways unheard of, you know, before the internet. You know, I doubt if I would be having clients in places like Ireland and Sydney and Perth, uh, Indonesia, Jamaica, all of that. Uh, but it, because of it, I do, or I have, have had, and you know, it's uh, been a blessing. What I wanna to talk to you about is the need to fight on, the need to push on, the need to be prepared for setbacks, the need to be prepared for a delay, the need to be be prepared for falling and, and failing and, and making sure that you fail forward. Uh, you know, a lot of times when you see people talking about their successes, you never hear about their failures. You never hear about how long it took them to get there. You never hear how many times they how many times they failed before they got their first success in a particular thing they were attempting to do. They they they'll show you this, and and, and they will, if you're not careful, give you the impression that they were just so exceptionally well prepared or well gifted or are knowledgeable in something that they stepped up to the plate and hit a home run right out of the box and have been doing it ever since. Um, in baseball, uh, the best batters bat 300. What that means is they're batting uh, three out of 10, 300%, uh, I mean 30% uh, uh, or 300 out of 1,000. That's what that 300 stands for. When we say he's batting 300, that's 300 out of 1,000, 30%. Uh, that's considered good based on the level of difficulty it is to hit a major league pitch. Uh, the best hitters are hitting three, three something. You know that's considered exceptional, extraordinary. Uh, so, you know, and that's the best. That means that they fail seven out of ten times. Your best investors are going to fail a certain percentage of the time. They don't hit it all the time. Nobody's perfect. I think it's important to talk about that. I mean, uh, right now, you know, I'm not nowhere near where I would like to be in comparison to where my goals are and where I've been in the past. Um, but I can see the progress. I can see the things that need to be done, uh, getting done. Sometimes it's, you know, bam, bam, but you know, again, my responsibilities aren't the average person's responsibilities either. So it's not like I've got, you know, $1,500 in bills. Man, and I don't know when that last time that was. But, um, you know, and obviously I'm not going to talk about what I do have going on. That's not what I remember. I'm saying it's excessive. Uh, but it's getting done. Uh, you know, and then, you know, so many things business-wise that has to be caught up on. 
and talked about. But what I want to tell you is the reason that I can wake up every day and smile, the reason I can coach and teach people is because I can track and look at where I've been and I have the ability to be grateful and thankful that I'm not where I used to be at my worst times. And I've, 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 you know, I've been at the peak of success. I've been places that I don't even talk about anymore because I'm looking ahead and I don't want to revisit the past so much as to get caught there. But trust me, I've seen successes that the average person or even some of the most successful people haven't seen. But I've also hit rock bottom. I've landed flat on my back. But see, I didn't stay there. I didn't get caught up in my emotions. I didn't allow myself to be overwhelmed by my circumstances because that was something in my spirit that's so connected to my purpose and to the most high God that I was able to see beyond it and that what was in my spirit disagreed with my circumstances. It wasn't denial. It was the knowledge that what I'm dealing with now cannot and will not destroy me, cannot and will not uh, usurp my destiny cannot and will not take me out of my purpose and I get up every day I answer the bell that's what has been the going thing for me is I don't stop I have made up in my mind that I'm going the distance that with the, everything in my power that's moral and ethical I'm gonna go to, I'm going the distance I'm not gonna give up I'm not gonna whine and complain I'm not gonna talk about all the things that aren't working for me I'm gonna focus on the few things that are I'm gonna use those to my advantage I'm gonna build momentum I'm gonna connect with the right people I'm gonna be a blessing to other people even while things are hard or tough for me I'm gonna continuously move on you've got to stop complaining that's the absence of gratitude Gratitude. When you shut down gratitude, you shut the gates to abund abundance. Grat gratitude is simply that. It's the gate to abundance. It shows an appreciation for the things you have, opening the gate wider for more things to come. It is a way to set your state in a positive mindset so that you can think positive, you can produce and manifest positive, you can process things on a positive level. That's Gratitude is the reason you got people going through the same thing but getting different results and seeing things because they see things differently. One person is going through it and going, oh, well, it's me. And the other person is going through it and say, shit, I'm built for this. And because I'm built for this, I'm going to make it work for me. I'm going to actually come out of this better than I went in. That is what I want you to focus on moving into this new year. If most people in 2020, you know, caught the business, you know, that was some beautiful times. And that's what I should tend to focus on. Despite everything that went wrong and all the chances and opportunities for things to just totally collapse in, 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 in my life, in my home, in my family because of this economic downturn in this pandemic we had some beautiful moments we were able to, to 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 experience some beautiful things and that's what i choose to focus on i don't choose to focus on the challenges they are there for me to overcome they're there for me to be built up and may be made stronger so that i can take on other challenges what i'm trying to get you to understand is you're not going to have a life of comfort and a life of great reward simultaneously and at the same time you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone. Sometimes you'll step out on your own. Other times you will be forced out by, uh, you know, uh, involuntarily. And so what does that mean? That means that you're going to have to make up in your mind that you are going the distance, that no level of discomfort, no level of setbacks, that delay is not going to stop you. Delay does not mean denial. It does not mean you can't have it. It means that you're going to have to execute patience and perseverance. Now, if you do one without, if you just have patience and you sit there, eventually you become content. You need to have patience and perseverance, meaning that while you're being patient, you're still pressing. While you're being patient, you're still pushing. You're still fighting. You're still believing. You're still going. And eventually, you will chip away at whatever it is and you will get it. Sometimes you do experience these, what I call quantum leaps, these big, huge jumps in progression. But most of the time, it's these gradual step by step, inch by inch. I'm not quitting. I'm climbing. I'm going. I'm going until you get there type things. And it's that that I want you to focus on. It's that that I want you to sit up and commit to. 
you can do some exceptional extraordinary things when you believe in yourself i'm about to get out of here and uh do my run my last little errand and get back to the office i'll probably check in with you guys again a little later but i had to drop that on you i wish you the best don't forget if you haven't enrolled in uh the 30-day your best life challenge enroll if you haven't gotten uh pre-ordered the latest book uh soul ties uh hope healing and restoration in martyr marriage you want to pre-order that book it will be in the description uh box or the post box wherever you're watching this or listening to this um on that note as i always say i want to live my life on full i challenge you to live uh, do the same and when I say live my life it means I'm gonna down E it means I'm not leaving anything undone I'm not sitting around coasting through life I'm living every day to the fullest because I don't know when the what day will be my last and I'm challenging you to do the same thing live your life on full and leave this place on empty that is my challenge today you guys have a great day I'm out of here yeah, yeah.